chapter wise list of all my videos is available at this point for dvd pen drive please write an email to me these videos they do not require internet they play offline there is no problem of buffering and please subscribe to my channel for regular updates thank you thank you for your support once again we shall discuss angle sum property of a triangle and take a number of solved questions of exam level generally tougher level on this property first of all i will prove that the sum of angles of a triangle is 180 degrees the purpose of proving this is that you will be able to understand how we can carry on with various proofs and how we can solve various questions on this angle sum property the fundamentals are necessary to prove this let us draw a triangle any triangle is drawn let it be labeled as a b and c let the vertices of this triangle be a b and c we can also label these angles as 1 2 and 3 by seeing at this triangle it is definitely very difficult to think how will we be able to prove that angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 is always equal to 180 degrees this is a very important result but how will we prove this for this we will need a small construction what we will do is through a we will draw a line which is parallel to bc so draw a line through a which is parallel which is parallel to bc let us call this line as l an artifice of this type artifice of this type will usually help us in solving problems of geometry but no one is god gifted so it is better to learn the techniques that is why i am presenting the proof of each and every theorem so that the fundamentals they become very clear now once this l is parallel to bc then we can see that this angle is also 2 because alternate angles are equal this angle is also 2 because this is line parallel to bc and this is the transversal and these are alternate angles which we already know from our previous lecture similarly if you see at this side this 3 and this 3 they will be exactly equal so we can write angle 2 and angle 3 alternate as labeled now this line is a straight line and angle 2 plus angle 1 plus angle 3 must add to 180 degrees l is a straight line so angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 should add to 180 degrees this proves the theorem 
because this was after all our objective. So this is the first theorem that you should be aware of. You can now directly use 1 plus 2 plus 3 equal to 180 degrees in any question. Let us now move to our second theorem on the angle sum properties of a triangle. The second theorem is exterior angle theorem. This I must say is extremely important and extremely useful. Let us first of all understand what this theorem is about. Suppose this is triangle ABC and this is angle 1, this is angle 2, this is angle 3 and let us suppose we produce the third side, extend this side outwards and let the exterior angle be angle 4. The exterior angle theorem states that angle 4 is equal to sum of the other two opposite angles. This one. Let me draw some more diagrams to explain you. If we extend this side, then this angle 4 will be equal to sum of angle 2 and angle 3. And likewise, if we extend this side, then this angle 4 will be equal to sum of angle 1 and 3. Let us now set to prove this theorem. We already have angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 equal to 180 degrees. Reason we can write sum of angles of a triangle. So this is one equation that we have. The second equation that we have is since this is a straight line, angle 3 and angle 4 should add to 180 degrees. So we have angle 3 plus angle 4 equal to 180 degrees. This is equation 2 and the reason is straight line. We have to prove this equation and we observe that this equation doesn't have 3 angle 3 is not there. So what we can do is, we can make use of equations 1 and 2 and remove angle 3. The remaining will be a relation between 1, 2 and 4. This thing you can remember that we can always eliminate one of the variables and the two equations that will be used to eliminate this variable will lead us to a result. So how do we eliminate? From here, we extract the value of angle 3, which implies angle 3 is 180 minus angle 4. Now, next, put in 1, 1 angle 1 plus angle 2 plus. Now this will be in place of angle 3, we have 180 minus angle 4 equal to 180 is already there. We can take this to the other side, angle 1 plus angle 2 will be equal to 180 minus, this 180 minus, these will go that side, minus angle 4 which is equal to this 180 minus 180 crashes minus and minus changes to plus so which shows that angle 1 plus angle 2 is equal to angle 4 which is proved. The results 1 and 2 should be remembered at any cost. They will save your time. I am presenting a third result also that is not necessary that you remember it. 
but questions on that are being asked abundantly if it is possible you can remember that otherwise i will derive that you can go through the steps of derivation and understand let us move to our third result it states that the sides ab and ac of a triangle abc are respectively produced to points e and d let us first of all draw a triangle a b and c the sides ab and ac are produced to e so ab is produced to e so we are extending it to some point e and ac is extended to a point d if bisectors bo and co of angle cbe and angle bcd angle cbe is this its bisector is this one this divides this angle into two equal parts then there is a bisector of angle c b bcd also bcd this angle so let us draw its bisector also to help us know that these are and equal to themselves we'll write double lines single lines means they are equal double means they are equal bisectors bo and co so this point is obviously o then we have to prove that angle boc that is this angle is equal to 90 minus half of angle bac this is what has to be proved to prove this let us label this angle as y and let us label this angle as z now what is this complete angle this angle we can see should be equal to the straight line is 180 so this complete angle should be equal to 180 minus y this is what we can see the straight line this is y and this will be therefore 180 minus y and therefore this angle this angle this angle will be 180 minus y by 2 because this is the bisector of the complete angle so this this part will be 180 degrees minus y by 2 and on the same lines we can see that this part will be 180 degrees minus z by 2 because of symmetry y on this side z on this side this angle will be 180 minus z by 2 this is 180 minus y by 2 so after these rough evaluations let us now come to our proof this is angle a bac we can see that angle bac plus y plus z should be equal to 180 degrees why because sum of angles of a triangle is 180 degrees which implies y plus z is equal to 180 degrees minus angle bac we can keep it as equation 1 let us now have a look at this triangle this one here we can see that this angle plus this angle plus this angle they should add to 180 degrees we can write in triangle boc this angle boc plus 180 minus y by 2 
प्लस वन एट्टी माइनस जेड बाय टू शुड बी इक्वल टू वन एट्टी डिग्रीज लेट एस डू अ बिट ऑफ सिंप्लीफिकेशन एंगल बी ओ सी प्लस दिस यू कैन सी इज वन एट्टी बाय टू नाइंटी माइनस वाई बाय टू प्लस दिस विल बी नाइंटी माइनस जेड बाय टू इक्वल टू हंड्रेड एट्टी फर्दर एंगल बी ओ सी दिस विल एड टू हंड्रेड एट्टी दिस इज वाई प्लस जेड बाय टू ओके आई जस्ट सिंप्लीफाइड एड इट वन हंड्रेड एट्टी डिग्रीज एंड कंबाइन दीज टू टूगेदर एज वाई प्लस जेड बाय टू इक्वल टू हंड्रेड एट्टी डिग्रीज सो आई हैव जस्ट कंबाइंड दीज फोर टर्म्स इन टू वन एटी एंड वाई एंड जेड टूगेदर सो विच एम्प्लाइज एंगल बी ओ सी इज इक्वल टू नाउ लेट मी टेक दीज स्टोरी टू द अदर साइड दिस वन एटी माइनस वन एटी दिस वन एटी माइनस वाई प्लस जेड बाय टू विच इज इक्वल टू दिस वन एटी माइनस वन एटी कैंसल्स एंड माइनस एंड माइनस चेंजेस इन टू प्लस सो आई गेट वाई प्लस जेड बाय टू एंड नाउ इफ आई ब्रिंग वाई प्लस जेड फ्रॉम इक्वेशन वन आई विल गेट वन एटी माइनस एंगल बी ए सी बाय टू वाई प्लस जेड इज ऑलरेडी नोन एज वन एट्टी माइनस बी ए सी आई ब्रॉट इट डाउन विच इज इक्वल टू नाइंटी माइनस एंगल बी ए सी विच प्रूव द बाय टू दिस टू विच प्रूव द रिक्वायर्ड रिजल्ट सो वी हैव यूज ऑलमोस्ट एवरी थिंग ऑफ जोमेट्री इन दिस the straight line the bisector sum of angles of two triangles this one followed by this one and we ultimately were able to find that angle boc is equal to that is this angle is 90 minus half of this this is an important result if you want you can remember it but remembering too much things is difficult and if you understand the whole artifice basically you will need only to know about the straight angle sum of angles of a triangle and bisectors the remaining are all adjustment all mathematics basically this was the first equation and this was the second after that all was mathematics adjustment and alignment let us now move on to our questions for these topics these are now tougher examination questions let us see how to crack them in this question he says in triangle pqr points a b and c are taken on pq pr and qr respectively such that qc is equal to ac and cr is equal to cb if angle qpr is 40 then angle acb is what usually a diagram is not given so we have to draw the diagram ourselves let us see how we can do it triangle pqr is there let us draw any triangle pqr p q and r points a b and c are taken on pq here a point is a and b is on pr and c is on qr are taken in such a way that qc is equal to ac let us join these and let us mark a small dash to tell us that the length of this is same as the length of this one and cr is equal to cb CR is equal to CB. 
these double dash tells me that they are equal single dash tells me that they are mutually equal if angle qpr is 40 this is qpr this angle has been given as 40 degrees then what is angle acb we have to find out this angle first of all let us keep our eyes open mind open on what has been given for everything there is a purpose he has given this side equal to this side therefore this triangle is an isosceles triangle so the angles opposite to equal sides will always be equal therefore if this angle is q then measure of this is also q so i'll write let me write one here and I will write one here also. This tells me that this angle is equal to this angle. On the same pattern, if I write two here, then I will write two here also because this angle will be equal to this because this side is equal to this side and angles opposite to equal sides are always equal. If you don't understand this, I'll still draw a isosceles triangle to tell you that this is always true. If this side is equal, then these two angles will always be equal. Next, let this angle be x which I require and let this angle be labeled as y and this angle be labeled as z. I know that the questions in my exam, they will be from one of the three theorems. Sum of angles is 180. Second is exterior angle is equal to the opposite angle. Third theorem I have never bothered to remember. So my basically zero in is on these two theorems. And with that purpose, let me see this whole figure from that perspective. Have a look at this one, this angle. This angle is external to this triangle. So I can say that this angle is same as 1 plus 1 because this is also 1 and this is also 1. So I can write x plus z is equal to 2 times angle 1. And likewise, if I see this whole thing, this whole thing, this is exterior angle of this triangle. Therefore, this should be equal to this angle 2 plus this angle 2, which implies that y plus x, this is y, this is x, x plus y should be equal to 2 times angle 2. Now I have this information with me. Let me add these two equations. What do I get? x plus x plus y plus z equal to 2 times angle 1 plus angle 2. I have these two x. I have brought x with y plus z and x is here and this two is common and I have this one which implies x plus. Now if you see this is y, this is x and this is z. Three of them should add to 180 degrees because they are on the same straight line. So I will write it as 180 is equal to 2 times angle 1 plus angle 2. So which implies x is equal to 2 times angle 1 plus angle 2. Take 180 to the other side. This is what I have. Now I am bothered about 1 and 2. Let me look at the entire angle. Geometry is about visualization entire. 
in the entire angle entire triangle pqr angle 1 plus angle 2 plus 40 degrees should be equal to 180 degrees which implies angle 1 plus angle 2 should be equal to 180 minus 40 equal to 140 degrees now bring it here and you get x equal to 2 into 140 minus 180 which is equal to this will be 280 minus 180 which is equal to 100 degrees which is the answer I hope you have observed one thing that in this question I had to use either my theorem 1 or 2 this is the syllabus you know them well you succeed everywhere watch this video question again and again you will get even more clarity about how I have done but let me now move on to my next question